Okay, we are taking another drive. Going to a friend's place to go swim in the lake, I believe. And we, this is the same drive we made um, just, uh, I guess, a few a couple weeks ago at 8.2, where it was a zero intervention drive. I've actually done this twice with zero interventions. So we are going to see if we can repeat that, this drive, with this version. Uh, it's going to go through Saluda and through some twisty mountain roads. Uh, it's bumped us up. I'm going to have to disengage so it doesn't take the highway. Once we get waypoints, it'll make it go the way I want without having to disengage. But um, we'll do that at the highway here. Okay, this is where I'm going to disengage and bump this back down to 45 right here. It's probably freaking out. I'm like, why are you? Oh, it's going up the highway speed. I don't want that. Okay. Now let's reroute the nurse. So this is uh, definitely slow and much better than it did previously. It slowed a lot smoother up to this stop. Wow, and it went through the yield correctly. That's the first time it ever did that. Normally it would stop at the stop sign. It actually is a yield. Um, so it also shouldn't be going this fast right here. Um, and see, it's not slowing down quick. See, if there's a police car right here, this is a school zone. Um, it definitely, that's something it needs to fix, um, how quickly it gets down the speed. It should be slowing down before it gets to that speed limit. And I'm also, this is also not a stoplight, come on, go. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna have to push it through there so it doesn't stop. I'm also brought down the speed limit just to keep it extra safe in here. There's a lot of people walking around. Still turns the blinker on. <laughs> and it turns off. It's just like, it's not even started turning yet. I, I just don't quite understand the logic of the blinkers. And just so you aware, this is still Sunday in terms of um, timing. So, the second day I've had the beta. Or it, version 9 that is and so I just made a whole bunch of videos and we're releasing these every other day or so yep still still uses GPS speed limits on this road where it goes up to 60 That was, again, the old speed limit, not the current one. You can definitely go faster. I'm not going to press the accelerators unless the car starts coming behind me, but um, it's slowing down way too much, in my opinion, around these corners. It seemed to be... I don't know if it used radar previously or if it's not using radar. It's something they've changed with the vision is making it much more hesitant around corners now. Okay, I'm taking over navigation. I'm not sure what it's doing. Um, that that goes onto a dirt road. Um, it is slightly shorter distance-wise, but I do not want to navigate um, that way because time-wise, it's probably 10 minutes longer because you're going on a dirt road. Plus, I don't want to dirty <laughs> my car. My car is clean. I don't want to get it dirty. Um, so unless there's major. Some, something weird about navigating here it um it like doesn't realize the exits here it 
can't take the exit. So we're gonna just navigate to right here. And it's still there. I'm gonna fix it once we get on the highway. It thought that was a stop sign. That's a button press right there. See how it does around this corner. Again, too slow, but did well, cut that a little bit wide, but did good. See how it does here. This is where it's always hesitated. It's always made it, but it's always not. Okay, well, there's no traffic coming. It was actually much more assertive on that than it's ever been. Um, that's, in this case, was a good thing. Um, so we'll see how it merges onto the highway, then I'm going to correct navigation here. Once we can get waypoints, these problems will be resolved. Um, again, I have to manually use lane change, and it's better than it was. Still too slow. Should be a quicker uh, merge. I wish I was recording last time I came off this exit because they were just repaving this exit and it had some weird cones and it was an absolute um, nightmare to navigate around. Uh, and I don't think the car would have made it, but um, I, I took over. But it would have been an excellent edge case uh, that had construction cones all, all throughout here. Um, and actually, it took this exit. Well, I slowed down, but it, did, it is taking it better than it previously did. Um, no, to, to get in the left lane, there you go, come on. There is traffic coming, is he gonna stop for this car? No, 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 oh. That was an intervention. It just, it didn't, it just clearly didn't see that truck coming. Um, and that's a problem we had on the previous version. And they have got to fix that, obviously, for this to be a robo taxi. And, destination is on the left. Yep. and so we're going to cancel that um, and go straight from here. But yeah, fortunately, that was a um, worse drive than last time. Uh, last time it did get see the cars, at least that were going by. So this was not a zero intervention drive this time. Uh, and so this version is currently for that particular route is worse. I will record next time I take this route and see if it's able to do it that time. But uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.